Hello and welcome back for part five. Hello and welcome back for part five. Oh, I can hear myself right now. Oh, I can hear myself right now. Matter of Souls Anonymous, hello. Why can I hear myself? That's why my Twitch stream was not muted. MF Hume, hello, good evening. Thanks for stopping in. Well, let's waste no time and let's jump right into it. Now that I got my chat set up, we looking pretty damn good. Tardis. Matt. Hope you're able to bring fun to people with this game like you did with BG3. I shall attempt to do just that, Matt. We got two Matts in here. All right, tonight we're going to push on with the main quest. I'm thinking about switching up vocations, possibly. We shall see. We got to head back to Grand Soren here and figure out the plan. Looks like my lantern's about to go out. Currently in like a little cave passageway, the ancient quarry, which connects the... Southern side of the map to the northern side. A little bit of a shortcut, I guess. It's definitely a shortcut because it takes less time to travel from the cave entrance to the other entrance or exit than it does to actually follow the road. All right, um, but before, there's something that I missed. Where was the Dragonforged character? Is it there? Take a little run. I want to go to the northern part, yeah. Hearts, please. <sighs> We're going to go out the northern entrance and then walk to Grand Soren as opposed to using the Eternal Fairy Stone. This will get us warmed up with some combat, and I also have a place that i got to stop on the way. Hey, Jackie. Playing this on my own, and I think I'm bad at it because it's making me mad. Ah, uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve with Dragon's Dogma 1. South and Central For sure. I think things are explained quite poorly in this game. <laughs> So, don't kill yourself over it, Jackie. It's it's understandable. Takes a couple sessions to get, get into the swing of things. What do we got? Some undead here? Yes, we do. Shall be mine. I'll burst it open. Stone clear, is it? You guys ready for this? Watch this. That was effective. A walking dead. No, I wasted this. I w I'm wasting the arc of might. Oh, here we go. Oh. Strength in numbers arisen. The arc of might is a one shot for any non-boss opponent, for sure. All right, so we're out of fuel with the lanterns here. Can I add oil? Yes, I can. Seems like DD2 is going to have a lot of quality of life improvements over the first one. So I think it's going to be less frustrating. With that said, it doesn't seem fire, like Capcom is holding this. off with like the hardcore RPG mechanics, which is great. But it seems like we're able to navigate the menus a little bit easier. Maybe things are explained a little bit better. And some of the systems and mechanics are implemented in an, in a way that's a little bit easier to grasp onto. There, master. On the All right, yeah, we're gonna take oh, this yes. road. Die. 
would you expect with my help they hate fire they'll loathe this i love how the fire weapons is the fire weapon giving off light i think it is a little bit i don't think it's just my lantern i wonder what's inside hey sven what's up An undead warrior. what's max level in dd1 i believe it's 200 which changes you to the infinity symbol you may have value 200, though. I love doing the whirlwind slash and just slinging the enemy up to the smash their skull on the ceiling. Brings me great joy. How are we doing encumbrance? Damn it, I'm heavy right now. Well, we're going to be back at town here in a second. Let's see if I can get into the average category, though. TARDIS is about to be heavy. Like, I hope that, like, weight management is easier to do. I don't really care if the mechanic is hardcore and we have to manage it, but I hope it's easier to move items around and things of that nature. I'll start on dead. Seems people live to <laughs> We have triumphed. Wait, something's amiss with that one. What's up, Odessa? Getting murdered by direwolves? <laughs> Gustavo says bitter black second playthrough onward is pure hell. I can't wait for the bitter black aisle. So excited to get there. I'm thinking like three more sessions, three or four more sessions, and I should be at the DLC. You'll be fine so long as I'm here. Is that a harpy or a bat? I can't tell. I was hoping to stop at the area where... Oh, I think he's up here. Hold on. I have a port crystal over here. Near the ruins. Where was the Dragonforged guy? I honestly don't remember. Hmm. Let me go through the catacombs real fast. In the shadow of Grand walls. If I can find the entrance. Armed, I think it's over here. Uh oh. Oh, you're right, Master. We're in bandit territory right now. Is this the entrance to the catacombs? Yes, it is. All right. I'm gonna take a little. A little side trip right now. Hey, Sesame. So what I'm thinking about doing on the Discord server, if you guys are not a member over there, the link is below in the video description, is probably sometime this week I'm going to create a Dragon's Dogma 2 category, and then I'm going to create a gallery section, a build chat, a general chat for it, and I'm also thinking about creating a chat where we can all share with each other our Steam names and things of that nature so we can share pawns with each other. So be on the lookout for that. 
Oh, this is actually the crypt where... Yeah, let's go this way. Where the salvation meets. But we gotta go... Oh, damn. This is gonna be a little bit of a... A little bit of a trip. Really should have gone to the city first. killed an ogre. It's such a simple yet epic mechanic that this game has included. Skeleton knight. Shit. This should get us to the one behind me too. I'm gonna charge up an arc of might. You guys ready for this? Here we go. We got about ten seconds. Ten seconds. Come on. Here we go. I don't know if the combat in this game ever gets boring. Even when you're facing opponents that you can... You're clearly much higher level than. Still just doesn't get boring. I just feel so satisfied swinging my sword. Excuse me, TARDIS. Hey, Thomas. Rax. Hello. I'm also excited for Endgame DD1. Like, after the dragon. Never really played any content uh, post-dragon. Treasure, perhaps. Have I played BB1 before? Oh, are you talking uh, the DLC? I have not. Nope. But damn, am I excited. Come on. I got it. Oh my god, he. Oh shit. He broke my arc, arc of might. Really, I'm getting knocked around by these skeletons. I feel like as an Arc of Might warrior, you have to have an augment that reduces the chance of your character being knocked down or knocked prone. You know what I mean? Because there's nothing worse than charging up an attack for nine seconds and then getting hit and then losing that charge. Take their kneecaps out, baby. Good stuff. May this light be your end. I hope that DD2 has this little jump light attack for the warrior. I'm gonna be disappointed if it doesn't. Shit. There, Master. Stout undead. 
That was effective! An ally's blow will dislodge the ghost. Seems magic finds them well enough. Get weak to life! <laughs> hate light! Fire works well! Draws the light from the coast. Attacking it may help! Damn, what Phantom? Else you expect with my help? Phantom of the Opera? You guys like that? Oh, hold on. There was something on the map back here, actually, that was showing. <laughs> what is this symbol right here? Does anybody know? You guys see how I have an exclamation? Hmm. Exclamation mark down here? Why is that on the map? Oh. I don't remember what that lever... It must have opened that door originally. I don't know. It'd be nice if that would disappear off the map. If ever it was the seat of a god... How did I not get in here yet? Huh. Don't allow them to swarm. Judge from the beasts that dwell here, the place holds a dark power. It's still these vermin come. No honest business brings them out of such a place. I didn't even realize that levers were marked on the map like that until now. Mystic Knight has shield cannon, the best skill ever. I know a lot of Mystic Knight players are not too happy about not seeing the Mystic Knight in Dragon's Dogma 2. The Mystic Spearhand is kind of like the replacement, I guess you could say, but it's so different, though. It leads down below. Hey, Red, what's up? I spam the Eternal Fairy Stone. This must do something. Somebody said in my last stream that DD2 was going to have unlimited sprint in the open world. It appears I don't know if that's true or not, no but that'll make running around the world a little bit easier for sure. RIP Assassin? Well, here's the thing, though. You got to think of this. So Capcom took the Strider vocation and split it into two, into the Archer and the Thief. So we say Rip Assassin, but now they have two separate vocations to expand further upon and add more skills. So I think that the Thief is already going to be like half Assassin in DD2, and the Archer is going to have like all sorts of extra things compared to just the Strider Archer in DD1, because they have two separate vocations to work off of now, as opposed to trying to trying to cram it all into one. So I think Thief players will probably still be okay. That's what I think. I don't know for sure. What's up, Shy? Oh, nice. Congrats on finishing the DLC. Hey, Burn them to it's like there's no, there's no assassin in DD2, but there's a thief on steroids because there's way more skills. Watch the ground. Below you. Hey, Twilight, what's up? 
just wanted sword and board well you're gonna get that with the fighter right oh congrats shy that's awesome good for you hold on i'm trying to get to do, 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 oh my god i really don't even have an objective being down here i was just trying to go out the other side Trying to get up to here. Apparently I have to... I gotta get some keys for this dungeon, man. I haven't explored the entire thing yet. I get hip oh, I got cursed from that. That's why. Can't stand too close. We're gonna open these things up. Okay. You gotta admit, this game definitely takes some inspiration from Skyrim, though, for sure. Like, the, the, a lot of the dun- they, they look very similar. There's such different games, but there's so many similarities between the two, also. They're so drastically different from one another at the same time. I'd wager we could scale that wall. Be careful. The Walking Dead are all around us. The Walking Dead. That their souls might be cleansed and born anew in the coming generations. Long ago, when the Respect people worshipped the old gods, the gods of nature. Excuse me, Mr. Ratty, I don't mean you no harm. Few come to offer prayers for those who rest here in the cabin. Played for 92 hours, Shy? This leads down into the is that multiple coast. playthroughs, though, or is it just your one? Alright, um, this is what I was looking to do. do, 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 do. literally forgot where the dragon forge guy was wait oh it's hill figure knoll that that rings a bell okay that's where we gotta go let me do a marker i went to the wrong cave marker okay all right that's where we gotta go because i left a port crystal in that cave And probably put my lantern away now, I'm thinking. Save that oil. You guys are wondering why I'm moving so slow. It's because I have too much crap right now. I'm going to give TARDIS that. <laughs> why not? Tardis can carry it. All right, now we're in the average category. Such forgotten corners may hold. Careful, a goblin. Charge! Hobgoblin, you got a little slow. Any that would talk against. God 
Stardust. <laughs> nice Shy. <laughs> not gonna, not gonna lie, Shy's archer is pretty damn good. Even in numbers, a weakling is I grant you fire's <laughs> it cannot hold a weapon with an injured hand. This is how you play the warrior class, folks. This is how you play it. Charge, 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 charge. Pull it back and unleash. And then do it again. Oh! Then you take a little break in the ogre's armpit. Let's have that helm off. A tusk! Drop it loose! Strike really unarmored! Armor is racist! I let go too. Did you guys see that that last arc of might right there? Oh my gosh, a healing well. Let's have a look. So heavy right now, and I'm not even carrying. any like weapons like our armor sets it's crazy what if they're gonna have healing wells in dd2 it is massive and it blinds us to what lies beyond hope they have some healing wells in sacred arbor the elven lands that will make me happy i hope we have some serene moments when we're out in the open world Nice, quiet, peaceful ambience. This spring will ease our weariness. Reminds me of Teldrassil in World of Warcraft. off on new game plus because i won't have time for dd2 i was also thinking too like i want to play i'm happy i'm having a great time playing dd1 but i don't want to grind it too hard before dd2 because they are still similar so i don't want to like wear myself out on the dragon's dogma franchise before dd2 comes out not that that's possible right because dragon's dogma is the best Side. 
Wolves are the worst when you're playing as the warrior vocation because they're so quick. And I'm so slow. It's a really uh, cloudy day today. Twenty twenty four has been a good year so far with only a couple of stinkers. There, master, snow harpies. There, master, dire wolves. Leave these. <laughs> the screams till the blood to ice. I'll set its wings ablaze. <laughs> On solid ground, the advantage is ours. I'll strike with fire. A ford recovers. <laughs> we have triumphed. This path runs the canyon floor. We need to stay wary. Okay, I'm almost there, and then we're gonna push on canyon with the main story. We'll get into an exciting quest. Wanted to, to come back up here. It looks like we have some more harpies in our way. Almost there, though. A white wolf will be red soon enough. Only this the hell is that? Oh, it's a wolf. You never know what creature you're going to come across when you hear a growl sound. Beware the harpy's song! The trees here have a different look than those of the sound. You can use keyboard? Yeah. You can do keyboard and mouse or control. I think some people do complain about keyboard sometimes. I tried it the other day, it seems like it's fine, and actually you get some nice hotkeys when you're using mouse and keyboard. Alright, we finally made it back. Must be a port crystal down this way. Aha! That's what I missed last time. Awesome. What's this? This looks interesting. Oh, I love the music in this game. Let me talk to my buddy real fast. All I know is yours to hear. Let's get a little bit of lore here. Tell me of the dragon. The beast is called Death Incarnate, the greatest of evils. Doesn't this look like Skyrim? Do you guys feel the same way? Like, they're drastically different games, but there's at certain points in this game where you actually think that you're playing an Elder Scrolls game. You will learn when you come to face it that the truth is not so simple. When is it ever simple? It possesses deep insight to match its cold and steady drive to destruction. And an air of resignation, perhaps, lies beneath its imposing rage. All I know is yours to hear, should you desire it. Tell me of the Arisen. The Arisen is a child of man. Mm -hmm. No more, no less. Tis said, the Arisen is born when air man takes his first true step toward a goal. Okay. When the spirit gives rise to action, a man becomes arisen. Those like us, whose paths lead to the dragon, are known unto the beast as a matter of instinct. So our character became arisen when we bravely stood up against the dragon, Gregorio, in the beginning, in the starting Casardus village. Just as it is our own instinct that guides us on. And I guess the dragon realized that we were meant to be arisen? All I know is yours to hear, should you desire it. Tell me of you, the dragon forged. I am him that was forged in the dragon's fire. Sounds like a scam to me. I stand astride the bounds of life and death, remaining here 
that I may pass my knowledge on to the Arisen of each coming age. My battle as the Arisen has spanned a thousand years, and yet it knows no end. Nor shall it, until the Arisen to follow me strikes the dragon dead. All I know is yours to hear, should you desire it. Tell me of our hearts and of our scars. I, ours are bodies marked by the worm, yours and mine. A scar across the chest, to stand as proof of the dragon's claim o'er our hearts. I carved a scarred man into the face of this hill, that it might serve as a beacon to those who hmm. bear our mark. The lore is quite mysterious in this game. No, this game is actually playable. I've never been able to get into Skyrim. Well, I'm not really comparing the enjoyment levels of both games. I'm comparing the aesthetics, and there's certain scenes, like this scene right here, that looks like a character that you would see in Skyrim. Like, just walking around the city, you would meet a character that looks exactly like that. Yeah, there's something similar, like, with the, the visuals. Not really speaking on, uh, on enjoyment levels or anything like that, even though I do love Skyrim myself. It beats yet, as does mine, there within the beast. A thousand years since it was stolen, and yet it beats. As long as the dragon lives, the hearts in its safekeeping know no death. Our kind may die in battle, mm -hmm. aye, but neither age nor illness will ever claim us. We have stepped free of this mortal coil arisen. All I know is yours to hear. Okay, let's head back to Grand Soren and let's continue the main quest. Damn it, these menus always get me, man. They always get me. Oh, actually, hold on. I think I want to place a port crystal outside, actually. I wonder if all the dungeons in DD2 are going to be seamless. No loading screens. There's something drawn on the hill. All right, we're going to place a port crystal right here because we don't have anything to the north up here. So now I have a port crystal to the west, to the southwest, and also to the north. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we have a fast travel point back here. And then we're going to eternal fairy stone back to the city. If I can ever find it. <laughs> Where's the eternal fairy stone? <laughs> I thought it was under tools. Do, 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 do. I just had it a minute ago. What just happened? Hold on. Let me reset. Let me reset. Okay. All right. We're going into our menu. Bam. No, no, not under cloaks, legs, arms, nope. Um, Seeker's token. I still have to figure out those. I gotta figure out... Oh, I need one more Wakestone shard for one of my side quests, too. We have our badges right here, our journal entries. Um, I still haven't thrown a skull yet at anybody. We gotta try that. Apparently the skulls are like a debuff to opponents. You guys tried throwing skulls yet? <clears throat> so many materials in this game. I think we're just about due for a weapon. Actually, I might actually buy an entirely new armor set too. Maybe. TARDIS needs a major upgrade right now. I'm still using the Jester armor. That's pretty funny. What's TARDIS carrying on him? TARDIS has two Wakestone shards, and I do too? Wait, doesn't that... How does that work? Buy some pants? Hey. Do whatever you want. What's up, Penny? Yeah, Dark Arisen's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like a enhanced edition in a way, but also adds the DLC. Alright, um... Yeah, we're gonna go back to the city, and we're gonna focus in on the main quest. I'm, like, tempted to go a little bit farther to the north, but I think the main quest actually takes me a little bit further to the north. I 
feel like I recall going up to the north and then going through like the hilly slopes or something like that. I'm gonna stop at this base real fast. They say in times long past, such hill figures were not uncommon. Can't remember what faction this is right here. And we got an ogre. Uh oh. You do go up that way? Yeah, I remember going through like some hills and like you had to like... It was really hard to get through them because of the wind and you had to have something that helped you get through or something like that. Any that would target the original mind. I have it! Nice, I did a notice board quest. We cannot hold a weapon with an injured hand. Time. Misshapen eye. Hopefully Tardis picks up the rest of the loot. It is a really gloomy day today. What's up, Oliver? Maybe you can run through it, Chad. I don't know. I might be misremembering that part. The Wind Bluff Tower. Even the dragon's company is not enough to unite men's hearts as one. Grand Soaring Guards, so far from the capital. <laughs> Times are hot. <laughs> Spoken with Captain Dario. He's a quiet one, wise and temperate. Would that all men who lead were so. Seems the Duke aims to ring all grandsons with strongholds. Let's have a look at that rise in the land. And maybe ought to harvest. I'm trying to keep focus. The fellow has to stay ready. Do 
This is really annoying trying to do quests without my inventory clear right now. I'm not going to lie. Wish I had a uh, wingsuit or something. Quite the view, eh? Oh, that's not good. Oh! What do you guys think? I try this? I'm tempted to try. I'm smarter than the average bear, my friends. You guys thought I was going to do it, didn't you? Well, I don't know where Captain Dipshit is. I looked around the whole freaking camp. You'll be fine so long as I'm here. I think I'm gonna get a quest to come back up here. Oh, here he is. celebrated arisen. He's right in the beginning. I'd have well liked to see you slay the Hydra at the encampment. Oh, that's it. What a waste of my freaking time, man. All that. All that for that. That kind of pisses me off, and I'm going to take my anger out on this guy. He's an imposing sight from so close. Stop wiggling around, damn it. You little bastard, come here. Now you really pissed me off. Better to better to release my anger right now uh, than when I'm back at Grand. Yeah, he's fine. He landed in the water. Then when I'm back at Grand Thorn, because then I had, then I got to go to jail. I'm not in the mood to go to jail right now. You know. Okay, now we can go back to the city. What meaning do you suppose those stones hold? I never know what he's gonna do. It gives me anxiety. Just took care of a filthy peasant. You know what I mean? Nobody's gonna miss him. Right? just speaking the truth just because you guys won't admit it to yourselves you're scared to speak it out loud because you think you're going to be judged I'm just speaking the truth my friends he's not the last we'll call upon this in our world I have your pick any you like what will it be today Hey, Leda. Who are you? What's up? I'm running with Greasy right now. I don't know if you noticed that. I like Greasy's Meteor Strike. Leda, thank you for the $10. Hi, Wolfhunt. Hi, all. Quick question. Do I need to play Dragon's Dogma 1 to be able to play Dragon's Dogma 2? No, you do not need to. Will it be today? Have your pick. Any? What will it be today? Uh, I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna be doing some menu navigation here for the next couple minutes. So just prepare yourself, y'all. I need to check my skills. I have twelve thousand discipline points. I have to sell some stuff, and if I change my vocation, I have to switch weapons too. Improves your ability to knock down opponents. 
halves the severity of wounds sustained whilst you mount a focus strike. Makes you harder to knock off your feet whilst mounting a focus strike. Um, I feel like I, I feel like it might be time to move on from warrior. What do you guys think? Should I switch up the vocation? There's no more. I don't, I don't think I'm um, one one rank away from max. One rank. Arc of Deliverance. An advanced form of Arc of Might that channels all one's power into an even stronger blow. I mean, you're not really even a warrior if you don't try out Arc of Deliverance, right? So let's pick up that bad boy. I'm going to buy... Damn, that's a good... That's a good augment right there. I'm going to hold off and not buy those. I'm going to save my discipline points for a different class. All right. Arc of Deliverance. We'll keep that. Augments. We're good. Let me check TARDIS. What will it be today? TARDIS has 10,000 discipline points. Invoke a magical sigil around the user that enhances the resistances and defenses of allies who enter. Yeah, like TARDIS would ever use that. We'll pick that up and we're going to pick up... Perpetuation. I think we're looking pretty good. Today? Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Understood. This is episode five. God, did you use my pawn? You guys been using TARDIS? Using and abusing? I hope I was able to please you. I saw your name on there too, Marfin. Nice. Has TARDIS been treating you guys well or what? You guys just let me know and then I'll take care of the punishment if things don't go as planned, alright? Nobody hurts my pawns but me. I've Up learned Andrew. new techniques against that foe. Here we can rest, manage inventory and skills. And All so right, on. let's go ahead and might as well pick up some notice four. Masterworks all. We're going to let Tardis do the pickaxe, and I'm trying to. I'm going to free up a little bit of weight here and also get some money, so. I'm never going to remember to use half of these, so we might as well just sell them. Liquid Vim prevents stamina from draining for a period of time. That's pretty cool. Wait, am I... The was I just buying welcome. things? I always scare myself when I'm at a vendor. I like to buy things. I like to sell things, but I accidentally buy them. <laughs> I 
Happens all the time. The master works all, you can't go. We gotta buy the other chaos set too still. I just don't really like using hammers in games. Like, I much prefer a great sword if I'm playing a heavy wielding class. I don't think I want that. I'm gonna wait to find a better sword. Master works all. You can't go wrong. Come again. Business right. with the guild. Let's... If you've called, hold on. Sorry, guys. Takes a little bit here. I gotta see what Tardis has on him right now. Two skulls. The master works all come again. You know what? Screw this. I'm getting sick of having all this crap in my inventory. I'm getting absolutely sick of it. We're going to just sell a shit ton of stuff here. And I don't even care. I'll just get more as we keep playing. It's worth so little, too. I want a fresh, clean inventory. Maybe I'll save, I'll save my spring water. You know what? I think I'll also save. Um, we'll save one li liquid vim and two milks. Okay. Fairy stone. Okay, we can put one of those away. Coin purse of charity. I guess you sell those, don't you? Thomas, thank you for the DKK20. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. What's up, Mr. Hardcore? Nightbot's yelling at you guys. Alright, let's see here. Now I'm in the light category. Thank God. Um, okay. We put one thing away. My chest. You still have your pick, any you like. What will it be today? The fairy stone away. I have two lanterns. Let's get rid of that. How much do lanterns weigh? 0.33, it's not that much. We can actually put the wake stones away too. And the seekers. Why not? What will it be today? I told you guys this was going to take a little while, didn't I? 
just to store to rock. Inventory management is garbage in this game. What I don't get is, hold on, let, let me Will it be today? let me pull out something here. Hold on. God, oh my God, look at my deposit right now. This is scary, isn't it? This is scary to look at. But when I feel like it, and when I actually want to learn how the crafting and combining system works, I'll have all these materials to work with, though, so. So I thought that you needed three Wakestone shards. Okay, hold on. Let's, um... Let me see. What will it be today? Have your pick. I thought you needed three Wakestone shards to then resurrect somebody. Let me go down to the craftsman quarter real fast. Have you equipment to enhance? It's three. Yeah, like I have three right now, though. But why is it like? What is it? I guess you just need three in your inventory. It doesn't actually create a different item. Half, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Yeah, goats, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Two months, appreciate you guys. That stone, you've gathered enough. Perhaps with those, my son. But I fear I have not the strength to conjure their effect. Okay, there we go. For some reason, I thought I had to like combine the it's wake stones together or something like it's that. A miracle. He's back from the dead. Father, I... Wilhelm. Sweet Wilhelm. We made it. Thank goodness. I have a lot of rift crystals. Smithy, I should think. Words cannot express my thanks, sir. I owe you more than I can ever hope to repay. You've returned my son to me. It is the maker's work you do, sir. The world is truly blessed to have you. Or is it? Ooh. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm really tired tonight. I'm having a good time playing. I'm just not very talkative. What's funny is, though, when I'm tired and I'm not talking, more people come for the streams. Hmm. What does that tell you? All right, uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna push on with the main story now. It took me long enough. And I think we're actually coming to a part that cuts off all the content that I didn't do. But I think I've done a lot. I'm sure there's some side quests that I missed. What's up, Shy? The capital is home to a pawn guild where my kind gathers. Well, no shit, dipshit. Holy crap, Shy. Oh my God, that's the first time I had to punish your pawn. Are you kidding me right now? What do you think? This is my first rodeo? My first beer? I'm wasting my time with nonsense. Oh my god. Older Jay, thanks for the five. I appreciate it. The valley says I yeet most of the NPCs off the cliff. It's a good time, isn't it? It's such a fun mechanic in this game. Such a minor mechanic that just adds so much to the fun. Jay, thank you a lot. Thanks for the long time support. Alright, um, let's focus. Here we go. Time to focus on story time. The good thing Shy is not in chat, right? The stairs ahead lead atop the castle walls. You know what's cool about DD2 is I I read a few articles that say when you kill NPCs, they're dead for good unless you use a wake stone on them and then you can bring them back. But wake stones are of course gonna be extremely rare and scarce Stunning in the world so even like little regular villagers like if you're walking around and you just see some guy on the side of the street and you swipe him and you kill him the only way to get him back is going to be through a wake stone nice little hardcore mechanic i like it well, and look how much faster i move when i'm not encumbered it will be my honor to show you the ready charges for the worm hunt the choice is yours all right, here are the Duke's directive. This is a high honor, Arisen. See, you do not take it lightly. Here are the details. Wondrous tidings, Arisen. The Duke is to grant you an audience. 
His Grace wishes to commend you for your valor and your service to the land. Know, however, that any errand you have taken on will be left to another to complete. You will also be asked to return your writ of permission to join the hunt. If you have aught left undone, pray tend to it afore you come to see the Duke, sir. I must be clear. Your audience with His Grace will put an end to any current tasks, and you will be asked to return your license to the worm hunt. Knowing that, are you prepared to see His Grace now? Oh. Wow. Getting hit with like waves of exhaustion right now. Yes, I am prepared. You are quite certain. No tasks left incomplete. No need understood. Then pray. A guide awaits within to see you to his grace. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. Duke What's up, Edmund Gracie? is a famed hero who drove away a dragon of his own. This audience is proof of his cooperation. Finally, a palm with some useful information. My world is going to be empty. It really is a bummer. I, I thought that I also read that we're only going to have one save file. Or I don't mind one save file, but... You guys know how in this game you can't have two separate characters? I'm still trying to piece together why they don't allow you to have two two or three. Or more. Like, I kind of understand the single save file thing because of the pawn network. But I don't quite understand why we can't have two separate characters. I think it's going to be the same for DD2. No scum saving? No, yeah, like, I don't care about the save scumming. I'm fine with that. It's, uh... It's the fact that you can't have two separate characters. Like, when I decided to stream this game, I had to get rid of my other entire game and my character that I was playing. I couldn't keep him there and then start a new character. You can only have one character. I might have to buy the game twice and get like two separate Steam accounts or something because, especially as a content creator, like I need I need to be able to do, do different things like live and not live and things like that. But not even from a content creator's perspective, from a normal player's perspective, I think most people want to be able to have multiple player slots, character slots. It's a weird mechanic. I'm sure there's a reasoning behind it, I just I just haven't figured it out yet. Aw, oh, this is quite beautiful. What a difference from being in the light category versus being in the burdened category, the heavy category. That is indeed lame. Yeah, right? Maybe it's their marketing you buy. I don't think so. Typically you don't do more than one run at a time, but just not having the option. Yeah. Right? And especially in a game like this where... It seems like in DD2 there's going to be different story options. So you might want to do one playthrough where you kill all the NPCs and another one where you don't. But this, this game also has like a really long end game where you can just keep grinding things, which makes it even weirder because some players want to be able to come back to their character that's at end game and also be able to start a new character. But we'll, uh, we'll move on from that subject. Let's focus on the story. We have a duke to speak to. <laughs> Tonight the fisher knight leaves the humble shores of home for the heavy depths of cart. Pray, let this token from humble Festy garner favor with the leviathans within. <laughs> oh, tut tut, no time for thanks, friend. The duke awaits. Sail on, dear knight. Sail on. <laughs> hey, you got any job openings? I'm trying to get rid of one of my pawns. His name is Tardis. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Tardis. I love you. <laughs> what? What the piss is this? My other character was on the final boss, Shy. I was on Gregorio. I'll grant such gaiety may unite the men and stoke them to greater valor, but do we truly have the time to lend such pursuits with a dragon upon us? Gaiety? I fear your crown outshines my own. Ha 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 ha. 
All right. All right. I'm going to take this as a learning experience. This is how I treat TARDIS. I'm starting to feel kind of bad now. By my command, every road in Francis shall be open to you henceforth as a member of the world. Hunt. May your efforts help deliver us from the shadow of the dragon. As long as that damnable beast draws breath, I'll fail except any help on the throne. All right. Hold right All right, there. Man. Go. Can't run forever. What? What happened? What do you think you're doing? Well, that's some bullshit. What did I do? Break the tiles on the ground or something? Great. Now I'm a prisoner and I'm a jester. I'm pretty sure if you don't have the money to get out or the keys to get out, I think, I think the wait time in this game is quite long. Business with the guild, sir. Been to jail over twenty times, Lou. Have you ever had to wait it out before? I think the worst part of jail. Is having to uh, re-equip all of your all of your equipment. That's the worst part. You paid for the college of that guard's kids already. Well met, sir. Okay, let's um. Let's give that a try again. Again, X, what's up? We'll change the story. That's pretty cool. Huh. By decree of the Duke, you were to be allowed free passage into the castle. That makes sense after this going to jail extends for- This only to your person, and you are advised to comport yourself fittingly. A grievous breach in conduct will see you removed from the castle, or worse. You will take your orders from the Duke's Chamberlain, Aldous. Oh, this guy? Speak Great. to him for further instruction. May the Maker see you on to further glory, sir. How fared your audience with His Grace, Arisen? All that didn't go too bad. Aldous at your service, sir. I serve as a Chamberlain in the Duke's court. As you may have seen for yourself, it seems His Grace is... unwell. In truth, there is worry enough to make any man's head ache. But I fear he ails of worse than worry. Perhaps I ought not speak further on the matter, for my own well-being. I am charged with assigning royal orders, tasks of great import issued by the Duke himself. Pray forgive the bother, but I ask that you come to see me here in the castle whenever circumstances allow you to take on assignment. The future of this war is murky, sir. May your efforts help to bring its end into sight. 
You know, as great as this game is, not gonna lie, the story is a little weird with the quest design and the way you get your... I mean, I went from Sir Maximilian to this doucher. You know what I mean? Hopefully they do, they do a little better in DD2 with the way the main story is presented to the player, which I think they're going to. It seems like there's a lot of important NPCs in DD2. Am I going to jail again? I think we're good. You are to see me for your assignments and no one else. I speak for his grace on such matters. My word is his. I mean, he's right As next such, to us, but okay. Any task deserves your full and immediate attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. All right, let's aid the corpse on a hunting expedition. That sounds like good fun. No doubt you're aware the roads are ever more overrun with beasts of every stripe. The threat has only worsened since the dragon's coming. Trade has suffered. Citizens have died. A company of the land's finest sword hands have been gathered to thin the creature's numbers. It is no perfect solution, but it is a start. I would ask you to join them, sir. There's been no end of reports of caravans bearing tribute bound for Grand Soren being waylaid by monsters. Among them, the direst threat is posed by the griffin. Mm -hmm. It is not a creature easily quelled, but we can ignore it no longer. Hence the company of elites. And now it seems they are prepared to face the beast. They stand in wait outside the castle gate. Go and speak with them for further detail. I fear this may be a long battle, sir. May the maker be your shield. What are you looking at? God, it's so tempting. Oh my God, I just want to swing on this guy. Slap him around a little bit like I did to Daddy Helson. Show him who the alpha wolf is in this freaking room. You know what I'm saying? You are to see me for your assignments and no one else. I speak for his prey. Make your choice, sir. All right, we're going to hold off on that other quest. I don't want to pick up. I don't even know if I can pick up two at a time, but... I'd rather just keep my quest log free. A griffin is stalking caravans. Join the volunteers who plan to vanquish the beast. Talk to the captain of the company of elites to learn of their strategy. They await you outside the southern gates. Get out of my way, peasant! We best ask what the men of the core have planned. Well met, sir. It pains me to burden you, busy as you are with the royal orders, but there is aught I would speak of with you. It is a cause of worry, though I speak only for myself and not as Chamberlain. Might I beg a moment? Skeletons have been sighted near the capital these past few days. Mm -hmm. Elsewhere, I've had no end of reports of secret meetings among the zealots of salvation. I cannot help but see the two as intertwined. Though I have no evidence to prove it. Still, I'll be damned if I allow their kind to go corrupting the minds of good people for want of evidence. Arisen, I ask this as a favor. Will you look into these events and hunt out any thread that connects them? I believe I've learned where the cult meets. I've made note of it on your map. I ask you begin your search there. Go and learn what you can. No, I wasn't done with that guy yet. It is known that Griffins hate fire. Huh? One quest at a time, though. We're going to focus on the Griffin quest first. Don't play this game for the story. The combat is what saved this game. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. I mean, I do kind of play for the story, though, too, but... You're right, though. If the combat wasn't good in this game... This game, I think, would have been a failure, for sure. <laughs> if the pawn system and the combat wasn't as cool as it is, even the pawn system wouldn't save the game. I think the combat had to be as good as it is, but... Good thing for us is it seems like DD2 is an upgrade in all categories, so... 
A warrior such as yourself seeks always finer weapons, yeah? If you aid me in a small matter, you shall have access to weapons both fearsome and powerful. What do you say? Excellent. So, have you heard tell of the master weaponsmith in these parts? His talent is without measure, but he's stubborn as a plow beast and sells only to a chosen circle of clients. For such patrons, he gifts an idol to make his favor known. I've already gotten that chest several times, DM Dragon. It's nothing special. I must gain such an icon and access to his wares, no matter what the cost. It's often said you possess a talent for discovery. Secure me a figurine, and I shall provide weapons the likes of which you have never dreamed. What say you? Will you help? The master works all. You can't go wrong. I think you have to buy like a certain amount of items from this guy too. Oh my god, this is like a mid this is a huge upgrade. Like everything here is an upgrade. Because well, that's that's because I didn't have anything on. I kinda want that iron vest. That actually looks pretty sweet. We're gonna buy that. I like how you can wear things over things sometimes in this game. That's actually pretty cool. I'm going to be a poor boy though if I buy this stuff. I'm only getting two. Oh my god, I should have just saved that. I only got 2k back from a helm that I spent probably like 80k gold on. That's probably good enough for now. Just kidding. Four eighteen strength. Yeah, man, I really hate how the. Okay, never mind. I'm just kidding. I think I'm gonna grab the war blade. 78k. I have 79k gold right now. For a 12 year old game, it's surprisingly good. True. Yeah, I agree. I think there's been a big surge in DD1 popularity over the past month because everybody's excited for DD2. Because it was a bit of a cult classic back in the day. I don't think it was really that popular. Warblade or Steel Blade? I'm going to be completely broke if I buy the Warblade. You guys want me to buy pants? I think I'm getting the Warblade. Hammerhead? I don't... Oh yeah, okay, that is the Hammerhead Sword. Um, you know what? What the hell? Let's do it. You only live once. Why save the green paper? You know what I mean? We could die tomorrow. I'm buying it. Done. Let's give this bad boy a try. An interesting looking weapon. And I'll sell my... Let me sell my sword. Damn, it's fully leveled up. You think I care? There we go. I got 20k back. I'm not completely broke. Let's see if we can enhance it. Yes! Give me a nice little power boost. Yeah, so it seems like 
every time you like head into a new chapter of the game, you unlock like a different tier of stuff. I recall seeing figurines near the home of the Dragonforged and in the Witchwood. Whoa. I look kind of stupid. Too late. There we go. I look better. See, I'm already I'm back in the average. Damn it. I need to get an augment that will I think that was a magic augment that I just took. I need to get an augment that will allow me to carry things for or increase my carrying capacity. I thought someone said I was gonna get one of those. The art which you the master works all. Weight management kills me. Yeah, it's pretty rough in this game. Like I said, I like the hardcore mechanics. It's just the quality of life with the interface and the menus is really bad in this game. So it makes the management process such a pain when it doesn't have to be. I barely am carrying anything right now. My character just weighs so much because... Yeah, whatever. Okay. All right, let's go. Time to go kill a griffin. I prefer a great sword over whatever this hammerhead sword is, but I spent 78, 79k gold on it, so we gotta act like we like it for a little while. A rugged bone from ogres. Okay, all right. Duke's men are assembled. Let's hurry to join them. Go for the sword stone. It's free. Mild weather year round. Um, I don't know what the sword stone is. So. For human life. Oh, in the hillfinger area. Yeah, I think I'll just discover that on my own. Instead of, like, going up for it, specifically. But thank you. Alright, I guess this is our... Our group of... Warriors here. How are you? I had a feeling you might be our escort. Aye, we are the company of elites you're to march with. A poor jest, I know. We'll circle the capital, striking the griffin as we come upon it along the way. We attack when it sets down. It is nothing so clever as to be called a stratagem. But it will work. If you still care to join us after hearing all that, let's be off. I... We share these roads. The leech on no. Focus. Feel better the hunt is a few more men. A good start to any task is talking with others. Let's begin with that. I should have bought Tardis some new armor. <laughs> I'm poor though. I keep forgetting about Tardis. He's got like prison rags on. <laughs> Would it come down if we baited it? Clear your mind of all but the fight. We cannot reach it at that height. Seems all roads lead to Grand Soren. Yeah, Marfin, I was gonna hire your pawn, but it was so low level that I didn't the other day. All right, let me see what this Ark of Deliverance looks like right now. Are you guys ready? So this is the upgrade from Ark of Might, which is like the warrior skill. Let's give it a quick try. Hope I hear a griffin. Make haste. Oh my god. Make haste. Is this still 10 seconds to charge up? Oh my god. Make haste. crazy. Have a look around. See what we have here. I will give it my own. My case. The sky offers it. We have considerable advantage. Still, we the must fight. Is an apt spot to find ourselves surrounded. We best be careful. Where visibility is poor, we must be especially wary of attacks. My character weighs so damn much. <laughs> It's absolutely crazy. Just gonna give all my shit to Shy and Tardis. Hey, now we're in the light category. Yeah, let's just give it all the Tardis. I'll save one health potion. You know what? Let's use... 
Give TARDIS one of those. I'm going to use this liquid Vim right now. Medicine that wholly prevents one stamina from draining for a period of time. Let's see how long that lasts. Like where we, were before. we have unlimited stamina right now. This is the mod that Luality was running on her game. The in-game item version of the mod. Can I stand on the bait? Griffins are ever so, eager to feed on This meat. is where we're to meet the beast. We'd best prepare for battle. This is a fine place to lie in ambush, Arisen. Oh, do I gotta get the meat myself? I feel like I remember having to do something. The beast must. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to get some bait. Isn't that what you do for this quest? Would it come down if we baited it? Let's see. I'm so rich in resources. Careful! A goblin! Where are the goblins? There we go. We'll route them in a single charge. Come here, little goblin, you little stupid thing. Goblin! Give no quarter! Treasure, perhaps? Where did the bait area go? baby here we go oh shit sorry thank you so much for the dollar 99 i appreciate that fighter rank five. Oh my god come on baby let's go no i tried jumping and i got rid of the charge i gotta try again need one good smack with this and this thing is done Fighter rank 5 weight augment. Great strength. Oh, it's from the fighter. Okay, okay. Thank you. I gotta rank up my fighter a little bit more then. Just took half his HP. Oh my god. I probably already have my fighter at like rank four or five, I would assume, because it was my starting vocation. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. I'll get to him one of these days. Where'd he go? Where is he? Oh, he's coming back. Thank God this doesn't drain stamina holding it. Anytime. It's worth it, trust me. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody get him down. Hold the line! Let thy kiss! Turn them to us! Fast! Oh my god! And that's why I'm a world record Elden Ring holder right there. Not allow it flight! World record Elden Ring holder. Did you guys see that incredible timing right there? The anticipation of enemy movements? The straight up battle instinct? I'll do it again if you guys want. What else would you expect? We cannot let this chance escape. Come, Arisen, to the Blue Moon Tower. All right, brother, lead the I way. Where are you at? Knowledge. 
is old but done. A wounded beast will seek its home. To the Mercer. Blue Moon Tower. Tis wounded. We'll pursue it to the Blue Moon Tower and be done with it for good and all. Alright. Where the hell's the Blue Moon Tower? Where did everybody go? Okay, here he is. This guy doesn't have any HP. Why do I feel like I'm not going the right way? Whoa, that is really far away. And how do you even get over there? This looks nothing like where we were before. I feel like I should leave this guy behind. We must be especially wary of attacks. We're gonna leave Can this guy behind because best be careful. I wonder if I can rest without it doing anything, without it negatively affecting me right now. If we take a look at my map, I have a port crystal. Why is that? Oh, okay. Hold on. That's my marker. I think I have to... Don't you have to go... I think you have to go north right here, and then you start going east after that. Yeah, I'm gonna do a quick rest right now. Get my max HP back. Maybe grab some oil. Who knows what lies in wait? Best proceed with caution. Is it possible to fast travel between towns? Um, the only town you can fast travel back to at any time is Grand Soren. The Duke's burden is great. And then it's up to you to place port crystals on the ground, which which serve as fast travel points. Up to you where you place them on the map. You can move them around though. Grand Soren. The beating heart of all grasses. <laughs> These humans certainly do make a lot of expressions. I hear have your pick. Any you like. What will it be? What will it be today? Have your pick. What will it be today? Understood. I'll check for the fighter augment right now. Are your travel preparations complete? A fellow just have your pick. Any you what will it be today? I must I did definitely didn't buy the augment, so I'd have to. I'd have to, I think I'd have to switch vocations. Have your pick, any you like. Have then let's pick, take a look here. Like. What will it be today? Oh, I was fighter five. Okay, so if we go to augments, grants you the energy to carry additional weight. Some people were talking about this, like, in part one or part two of this gameplay. Of this, um, of my run, and I just didn't understand what they were saying. I thought they were saying that it was part of the the warrior augment. But cool, what's this one? Hold on, let me see the other augments while we're here. Easier escape from battle. really don't even know what that means. Facilitates easier escapes from battle. What does that mean? What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like.
At your pick, any you like. What will it be today? Oh, that's gonna be so nice. That's gonna change everything. Do you guys see why, like, even in even in DD2, even though it's a little bit different with the attribute increases when you level up, you don't have to worry about that as much. You're still going to want to level up other vocations so you can see what augments that they have, because this augment would work good with pretty much any vocation in the game. So, like, everybody has an, an incentive to level up the fighter just to get that augment. That makes a pretty big difference. What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again soon. I wish there was like an equip all button, but I guess that wouldn't make sense because you could have multiple pieces of armor in your inventory. Ought we adjust our inventory? Oh my god, look, I'm in the very light category. That makes a huge difference. That is insane. You use that on your strider array? You guys notice that? This is the first time my character has ever been in the very light category, ever, in this game. And this is going to make my movement speed so much better. The average is, like, kind of hard to get to now, because we still have that little chunk of the light encumbrance, too. Damn. Alright, Jackie, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, as always, if you end up falling asleep. Alright, let's head out. Might as well just keep pushing on with this. Oh, I wanted to see if there was... I think I have lantern oil, actually. Hold on. Oh, we're good. Add that to the lantern. We good. We good. A salesman surely has its own trial. Yeah, I think we gotta go... I'm pretty sure I have to go up to the north up here. I like faintly remember this quest and then you start going east. Appreciate the thumbs up on the YouTube stream. Everyone, thank you. There's something drawn on the hill. Coconut oil. I'm so happy that I spent the time to come up here and get that port crystal, then place it down. They say in times long past, such hill figures were not uncommon. Be done. I'll have a look around. A cyclops! Fall, beast! This way, Arisen. It cannot hold a weapon with an injured hand. Large or small, any monster can be I'll leave the weak bows to you. Burn their wings! No interruptions. Take my lightning! Don't let them drag you off! <laughs> Stink bug flying around. It's with this striking range. Simple mind. Sleep serves well. Beware the harpy's sword. The tusk is broken loose. Focus on the hand wielding the tusk. I'll stun it with the bolt of the arms. It's disarmed for now. Yeah. 
with lightning. Focus on its eye. I'll scale it. Right while it's distracted. Trying to keep track of what creatures are dropping what gear or what items. Anytime. Useful information to know for DD2 to get a head start on knowledge, because I'll probably it won't be the same, but it will be similar at least. Sometimes I gotta remind myself I'm playing this again not only for enjoyment, but also to have a more deeper understanding of the game systems and mechanics. Sometimes I forget forget about that. I want to pay attention to things. The gaming truck, thank you for the 499. Griffin Hunt is my favorite quest. Blue Moon Tower is an epic set piece. Sweet. Now, I've done this quest before, my other character, but I don't really remember it at all. It's all my second. Thanks, man. This game an MMO? No, but there was a Dragon's Dogma online, but I don't believe that it's still alive anymore. But no, this is a single player game that has a multiplayer feature and that you can share your companions with other people, but it's single player though. Okay, so yeah, we're going all the way out there. This should be pretty cool. Oh, I was about to swing at that. That wouldn't have been a good idea. Pine branch. Aha! <laughs> good boy, Tardis. You've been good today. I saw the way the king treated me when I put on my jester hat, and you know what? I have some empathy. I try to put myself in Tardis's shoes, you know? He's just trying to be a good, faithful jester servant, and I respect that. Wasn't Dragon's Dogma Online in Japan only? I don't think so. A lot of people talk about playing it. You got anybody that's from Japan that's watching the stream right now? This way arisen. TARDIS! Nobody touches my jester but me. Don't let them drag you off! This way, Arisen. Well, they're easy prey. Oh my god, that would have been crazy if I landed that. This way, herpes, man. Herpes everywhere these days. This is a funny part. Good night, Romco. Chai, have fun watching the movie. Catch you soon, maybe on I'll Thursday. This way, Arisen. This is money. Leave it to me. This is real funny. <laughs> funny business. <laughs> Pick up a pawn. Actually, this would be a really fun time to test out the throw with TARDIS and see, see what happens. Oh, come here, TARDIS. Come here. Come here. Oh, man. There's no... Oh, man. There's no physics for that. 
I thought the wind might like take him like a mile down the road. Hold on. Oh, thanks, Tardis. He's actually helping me out. There was on mine went down in 2019. This place has never been touched by man. We've come quite a ways from Casodis. Who the hell did that? Wasn't very nice. Make sure to recruit Lazel. The cool thing is the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator is so well done. You can actually create Lazel. So I think if there ever was a community to create all of the companions in BG3, it would be this community. And therefore we can all be friends on Steam and we can hire each other's pawns. And we can have a Starion, Shadowheart, Lazel, and everybody. Is an apt spot to find ourselves surrounded. We'd best be careful. Kill them all! Grace for magic arisen. I remember this part actually being quite difficult. Come on, Tardis, get it off, get it off, baby, get it off. Leave it to me. Wait for an opening. Counter after they strike. They attack in quick succession. part now the terrain is wild and varied here we'd best choose our path carefully man claims the sea is mother to all life this pawn sees only water armed bandits arisen <laughs> Well, that was silly. Gotta get my loot. comes the fun part. A curative will swim. Counter after they strike. <laughs> Leave it to me. 
that was close. Tardis, come here. Get that. We'll see if Tardis actually does any pickaxe. And... I'll pick that. Anytime. Refreshment is in order. Very well. I'm on my way. Come on, Tardis, what are you doing? There you go, brother. Keep doing it. Come on. One more time. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That's poison right here. Wow. Where the hell did this guy come from? where I came in. Wait for an opening. Damn, it's dark in here, isn't it? It is real dark. It was a fine scrap. If I may say so. I have an ailment. That looks like a ballista. I faintly recall a monster fight right here. My memory serves me correctly. Correct? We'll like to find a bountiful harvest tucked in among all these nooks and crannies. I think this is it right here. Troll in the dungeon. <laughs> Easy, shy. Ripe's sake. Lives here. Perhaps we might find supplies. The pawn almost killed me. Got some herpes up here. We're easily spotted out of the open plain. Yeah, Not worried Still about that, though, you know. Oh shit! There it is. Didn't even notice it. The camouflage is just insane. Oh shit! That's not a good start. Uh. Oh, this is not little. Stupid bird. It must be well hurt by now. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'll scale it 
It's a cool little boss battle. Kind of change it up a little bit, you know? We got the blisters coming in, a different creature. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Shit. Out of stamina, you gotta be kidding me. Any that would must destroy those amulets. Lake Jar, thank you for the ASK 750. Wayward Realms have my heart and soul waiting. I saw that they launched the Kickstarter, and I also have 100k wish lists on Steam, which is really cool. That amulet responds to magic. I am, uh, I'm very excited for that one too. I'm trying to stay cautiously optimistic though. Watch this, I'm gonna I'm I'm done. The boss is over. One hit right here, baby. Watch this. You guys watching? That's satisfying. What's this? I'll take that. Many plants it grow in the shade of all tree for all the trees. Hey Lord, Kella Rimbor. We have a Lord of the Lord of the Rings fan in here right now. Is this a modded playthrough? No, it's not. Nope. We go in vanilla all the way. Hmm. How do you get up there? That's one way. These golems can be quite annoying with their foot metal. Is this place? Yeah, it's pretty cool though. I hope that there's a lot of variety in, you know, creatures and bosses in DD2. They haven't really shown us a lot of variety, but that might be for spoiler reasons. But I hope we get like some different variations of like ogres and golems and things like that. With little, you know, just just that slightly different boss mechanic with the lighting up runes on its chest and stuff like that it changes it up, keeps it fresh. It seems this place is dogged by thieves. Grand yeah, there's Grand Sorum. The That's where we just were. Don't you guys love the sound of the ocean? Of the waves? What's that? There's a far cry from the roads we're accustomed to, that's for certain. 
double jump can be really Don't useful in this game. Faster. Yeah, isn't that Should only a strider or skill though? Stay alert. Looks interesting. The cockatrice is an unwieldy place to fight. Oh, it's for daggers. Okay. I haven't seen a double jump in DD2 yet, and I've looked over all the skills too, unless I missed it, but I haven't seen a double jump yet. Skeleton Knight! Fine scrap, if I may say so myself. A skeleton knife comes. <laughs> Human bones that move on their own. I'd not possibly. Strength in numbers. <laughs> With holy light. <sighs> My face is droopy right now. I couldn't even smile if I wanted to. So if you guys are looking this at me thinking that I look miserable right now, I'm not miserable. I'm just tired. There, Skeleton knights. Arisen, I am at your side. <laughs> you must stay calm. One at a time. With holy light. <laughs> this ends now. Skeleton is skilled indeed. We're gonna go see Grandma June tomorrow, y'all. How many people in chat know who Grandma June is? I'm going to church with her. I haven't been to church in like 25 years. She's super excited, so. Um, tis locked. Okay. Well, I don't have a freaking key, so what are we supposed to do? There, master. There's locked skeleton too. knights. This skeleton is skilled indeed. Oh, I'll tell Grandma June you guys said hi, absolutely. Grandma June's a star of the channel. This must be the work of the darkest magic. <laughs> Scatter those bones. This holy light. Looking for a key right now, and I'm not seeing one anywhere. <laughs> Got a brick. to come back to this area sometime push on to the griffin <laughs> hey Aaron Meredy let's go with your grandma occasionally Yeah, you know. There, Master! Skeleton Magi! 
for sure. It is treacherously steep. When people pass away, then you look back and you regret not doing all the things that you should have done. With holy light. There's no way we could have lost to that. Try not to take it for granted, right? Not everybody gets to see their grandparents or their parents. I love fighting under the stars with the holy imbuement and my lantern out right now with my pawns with me. It's good times. Oh, it doesn't matter if we're going grocery shopping. It doesn't matter if I'm doing chores at her house. It doesn't matter if I'm at church. Gotta savor the time that you have. You got a rift stone right here. A watchtower, perhaps. Unga Bunga build? What? what is the Unga Bunga build, Tom? Tis the Griffin's hole. Is that a warrior build? The beast has a lit upon the tower's peak, most like. We lost a number of men, but others yet fight on ahead. Please, sir, go to the raid. Please, sir, could I have some more? I got you, brothers. Watch your step, monster. Y'all let me handle this. You know what's cool? Oh shit, in DD2 you can actually rest out in the wilds by placing down a camp, which I think is pretty cool. The 
before they can use their voice. What else would you expect, with my help? to linger here. <laughs> Yeah, there's a setting in the menus or um, in the options that you can turn off um, pawn chatter you can turn it on and off but there's no like happy medium though hopefully in dd2 we get more of a more options in that regard Oh my god, that's so frightening. That is so cool. Oh my god. This is so epic. sudden god everywhere I'm itchy. Uh, uh, we we are doesn't seem like a smart idea to go up here but the hell why not oh shit Oh shit, that's not good. It's too dangerous. Oh, 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 oh. We must escape. <gasps> I panicked, I freaked out. One of my pawns died too. Oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. 
Really like the camping system in Outward. Me too. Can't wait for Outward too. So excited for that. All right, let's see if we can get it this time. Open the damn door. All right, here we go. Turn camera. What's going on here? What is going on? Oh, you have to run like this? Okay. Yeah, I forgot about this. Love a good thunderstorm. No durability. Let the battle begin, boys. Let the battle begin. My thanks again for your aid in time past. I have come now to lend my support with the same prize you claim for me. Let us see how the creature takes to my arcane magic. All right. What say you to oh, that? Oh, I beast? just lost my charge. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, look at this right here. Oh my God, it's like a hellhound or something. I'm shy here. Both of my pawns are dead right now. Didn't uh, I missed that? Missed that part. Oops. Blows to the head work well. We're gonna have to be super good on this one, then. There we go. Anybody know why I just got to skip all of the health bars? I think there must be some mechanic that I'm just noticing right now where when you knock the opponent down, you do something quick enough. It's a kill and you don't have to finish the rest of the fight. Hey Joker, what's up? 10. How about you? Good to see you still drawing breath, friend. Oh yeah, Stefan. Stefan just kicked his ass, Seems I guess. I too was lucky. It is a shame it can be said of so few. Never trust a guy named Stefan. Trust me.
Wasn't Steve Ur Urkel's alter ego Stefan? You guys remember that show? That was a classic show. Me too. 10. Nice. Treasure, perhaps. something up here. Got an assassin mask. Nice. Stefan or Kellen? <laughs> Man, I used to love Steve Urkel. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Steve Urkel, everyone loves Raymond. Um, remember, I used to go over to my dad's house. And he had cable. I used to go visit my dad every Tuesday and every other weekend. And every Tuesday night, I go watch Everyone Loves Raymond at 7 o'clock on a big ass, clunky TV. <laughs> Good times. And home improvement, too. That was a good one. Those were the days. Those were the days. Yes, they were. Griffin fight was a little underwhelming because of Stefan. Dude crystal. took my glory. One can reach it from anywhere with the use of a magic item. Hmm. What's that? <laughs> this is a place quite restful. Is this with the guild so? Tardis is back. I guess Shy is gone for good unless we go into the rift and rehire her. Seinfeld. You know, I, I like Seinfeld, but I didn't I didn't watch it that much when I was younger. Okay, there's Shy right there. Is she already back in my group? Is everything in order, Master? Oh wait, Shy was with me. It was it was the other pawn. It was Greasy that I lost, actually. There's Greasy. Yes, um, Arisen. I like her staff. She's level fifty four, damn. Oh yeah, we got Rick. Should we bring Rick back? Let's bring Rick back into the group. I don't think Rick's here tonight or watching the stream, but... It's been fun, Greasy. You've done a great job. And I will hire you again in the future. Yes, Arisen. Rick is a Rick is a mage, though. Let's see. Hold on. Greasy's a sorcerer. It's nice. Nice having a little bit of a... Never mind. Yes, Rick's fired. Ever... Rick's fired. Who is this right here? Too low level. All right, we're going to get Greasy back into our group. Because Greasy yes, has... Arisen. Yeah, Greasy has that good shit. Well, I already have a lot of that too, actually. Yes, Arisen. Whatever. I am honored. Hope they do a better job at balancing the hard difficulty. It's super fun, but way too rewarding. I never played the hard difficulty on this game. I'll heal your wounds. You can summon pawns as necessity demands here at the But I would like to. So quiet. 
I wonder why the hard difficulty is like its own category. Like when you just go into the regular campaign, it's easy and normal, but the hard difficulty you have to go to a different option. I know this game has like a new game plus, doesn't it? Well met, sir. Home improvement, that's early 90s, Wolf. Yeah, I was barely born in the early 90s, but I was trekking. I was probably watching Home Improvement when I was like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It was, still, it was popular for a while. You guys remember the days when Netflix came out for the first time and everybody couldn't believe that there was a streaming service for TV shows and movies and there was no commercials? And now, half the streaming services are worse than actual TV if you don't pay for the premium edition. Grown tired of playing at Hero yet? Who the hell is this, Jabroni? Did I just get arrested? What did I do? <sighs> Malleus, Stoneweaver, hello. And Odin Lee, what's up? I remember all those. Yeah, good times, right? Why did I just get arrested? Did I jump? Did I jump the wrong way or something? I'm about to go back with my greatsword and start swinging, decapitating all the nobles. Oh, because I have my sword out. Ah, just do it. That's a tough one, man, because I'm in the habit of always pulling it out. You guys weren't kidding when you said when you pull out the sword, it actually gets you in trouble. Okay. I see. God, my guy looks so stupid. It's not really. We should just, let's just leave the sword in my inventory. How about that? Then I can't well, get in trouble. Up. Leave it to me. DD1's going pretty good, but having a good time. I think next session, which will likely be on Thursday night, there's a chance that the Thursday night stream might be changed to a different day, though, because I might be doing something with my father. But, um, oh, this is our guy that we got to go to right here. We will switch vocations, though, on Thursday and try something new. Welcome back, sir. Then the Griffin is defeated. Blessed relief, that. All who walk Grancis roads will rest easier for it. It is welcome news, too, for trade. You and the others who fought have my thanks arisen. I'm gonna not pick up the next quest. Wait, hold on. Maybe I should try to bang out that one. I was thinking about getting off, but maybe we could do one more quest. I have that other side quest. Next session, we'll pick up the next step for the main quest. Perform a favor for Vulnerable, and we may well earn met. that. I've deep Above all, see that you... Sir Maximilian fears the Salvation Cult is somehow involved in the recent skeleton sightings. Investigate the matter. Search the capital to learn anything you can, not only of Salvation's clandestine meeting, but also the cult's involvement in the skeleton scourge. Let us begin with that alleyway. Our map bears the location of Salvation's <laughs> meeting place. <laughs> I'm trying to upgrade the dragon forge stuff. I don't even know really what that is, so. Oh. These stairs serve as a useful route in a 
Grow Knight. We'd best make for that alley. Hear ye, hear ye. Is Christ these workers going to... Every game has the hear ye, gentlemen. Such an unnecessary step to have to move it to equipment. I wonder if there are rarities from abroad. This must be where salvation meets. Hello, yes, Arisen. Your pick. Can you? What will it be today? Understood. Um, I'm currently locked in at 60 FPS right now. You can see my FPS in the top left of my screen. It might be hard to see, but. Are your travel preparations complete? Uh, you can you can post the picture in the Discord if you want, but honestly, and. I'll probably look it up if I feel like actually engaging with it. One of these days I'm just going to take some time and learn how the crafting works and the combining items, but today is not one of those days. Look at that fire sword. Plan the High Conclave's crafted. I know the aim's to sow chaos, but still, I can't but think it's excessive. Talk is those walking bones have slain three of our own, and we'd have let such creatures roam the roads. Aye, if we're so ordered. The rest of the Conclave's design relies on those skeletons to draw off the Duke's attention. I'll grant you their bloodthirst is greater than I thought. It is time to send word to the others. Come, no more doubts, brother. You are to begin work under the Conclave soon, no? Aye, I'm bound for there now. It is my first time. I was surprised at the summons, truth be told. I've not been with Salvation long. I suppose they trust me. I'll not miss the hellish life of a messenger, I'll tell you that. Game must be voiced over. Confront or follow one of them. Let us approach one the of lips them. are so Take off, it must be in Japanese. You! How long were you there? What did you hear? Skeletons. Damn my luck. I'll not hang for salvation. It was only a way to earn some coin in the first place. They pay a tidy sum for finding new believers and sending them onto the Conclave, though. I suppose my hand in that ends today. Let's be civil here, friend. We're not enemies, you and I. Surely we can strike a deal that benefits the both of us. Like, say, I give you a special bit of merchandise in return for a stack of coin. Hmm. Well, will you help me put this dark business behind me? You know what? I would almost always take it by force. Let's do something different. Accept his offer and pay 10k. Good, good. Pray, just tell no one it was I what gave you this, eh? Tis a key that will allow you into their sanctum. What you do once you're there is your business, though I doubt you'll manage much. I... 
this wins us entry into the catacombs depths. That key's lock lies in the catacombs. If you would go there. Same age like fine wine. There's something drawn on the hill. So I think it's uncapped. So you might get more than 30, especially if you're playing on 1080p. But I guess it's best to expect the worst, right? I was a console player I'd be kind of annoyed not gonna lie especially with not even necessarily annoyed at Capcom um, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and S were supposed to be these insanely powerful systems and you have developers releasing their games at 30 FPS it makes you wonder oh shit defeating the goat head make the chimera wild Dude, leave me alone. I didn't even use a taunt. He's just too damn powerful. Watch for their lunges. Fire works well. There's no way we could have lost that. Bring them. Everybody loves bitter black. The true time sink? I better get there soon then. We only got 10 days before DD2 comes out. There, Master. Snow Harpies. Master, a dire wolf. Die! I'll set its wings. Performance mode 60. You think games are still playable at 30, 30 FPS? Playable, yes, but it's just kind of annoying. I mean, lucky for me, I don't have to worry about it anymore. I got a pretty good PC, but... I remember when I was on console and games would come out that were 30 after I was used to 60. This is that right there. Oh, it's an ogre. Okay. See if we can go around it. I love how it has a torch and you can just see it through the dark forest. Clever game design. 
frightening. This looks interesting. Oh, uh, you know what? It would have been it would have been quicker to just go to go to the catacombs that were outside of Grand Soren that connect to this. If you come to offer prayers for those who rest here in the catacombs, we must find the one controlling the skeletons. How did I get another quartz crystal? fashion ages ago before the faith came to grasses if you lose your way you need but consult your map you'll need to open this gate to use the lift long ago when the people worshiped the old gods the gods of nature We have arrived. Yeah, I'm pretty sleepy right now, but okay. Feel okay. I shall restore your health. Hold on. Like this is the magic. We have triumphed. You guys ready for that BG3 mod support? I think 
this game is like not moddable. Well, maybe it is, but it's really hard to mod it. No way we could have lost to that. Oh, it's got Denuvo, or DD2 is going to have Denuvo. I'm talking about DD2 right now. I'm not sure about DD1. When DD2 comes out, I heard a couple of people talking about how it's going to be hard to do mods. At least at first. If we kill it now, I feel we need to spill a drop of our own blood. Skeleton mage! Can't let that no guy live. Could have lost that. Strength in numbers arisen. Need some coffee. That would be a horrible idea right now for me. Hold on. I would be up all night. Hmm. Interesting. The door will open Need to find all five jewels. Gotta keep a better eye out for all of them then. I hear a man's voice. Here, Master! Scouts are dead! I'm on my way! You! Not over with him, fool. Hurry and find the one controlling them further on. Go and beware the worst. Strength in numbers, are risen. What else would you expect? With my help, <laughs> we'll not pass through without the chief. I love all the little items that are sitting around. It makes the world feel so much more immersive. I like that Elder Scrolls does that too. Baldur's Gate 3 too, or Larian Games, DOS 2. Even if a lot of it's junk, just knowing that you can interact with the world is... Ow. Alright folks, I think I'm going to call it a night because I am getting kind of tired and I don't think I can try to find these jewels right now. My brain isn't working anymore. It's been a fun session though. Oh man. Whew. Mad Max. Hey, what a time. I'm not even going to read Mad Max's donation. You know why? Because we're going right to the Krusty Wolf Tavern. Now I'm going to read it. Max, thank you so much for the 1999. Greetings, Wolfhard and Clan. Always nicer to catch a late night. Oh, shit. You almost caught it, Max. <laughs> no coffee needed when we can share a tankard of the tavern's finest ale. My bad, Max. My bad. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate the longtime uh, membership as well. Some of you guys have been members for over three, three years now, which is crazy. Time flies. I still remember when I enabled the channel membership feature on my channel three something years ago. Some of you guys have been members for over three years, many of you guys over two, and a shit ton over one. 
But that's all I got, folks. You guys can tell I'm struggling tonight. But I had a great time. Thanks for hanging out. And to be continued, most likely on Thursday night, the scheduled night. But um, that might change. But I'll make it up. And I'll either do it on Friday or maybe even tomorrow night. We'll see. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, the sword arc attack is crazy AoE damage. It also knocks all the opponents down too, which is nice. Where's our music? There we go. Play a little song for Max. Or if there's going to be a Euro Dragon in D. What's a Euro Dragon? Jokers, Toxica. And make sure you guys join the community discord. The link is below in the video description. I hope the link works. We have a great community over there and I'm going to start up a Dragon's Dogma category very, very soon. And we're going to have a gallery where you guys can share pictures from the game and character creation. I'll have like a little section to help you guys share Steam names with each other so we can share pawns. We'll have a Dragon's Dogma general chat, a build chat, maybe even a spoiler chat. See you, TARDIS. Great work tonight. Let me know if you want to play some Nightingale. I'm done with Nightingale for a little while. I'm going to save that game for official launch. But thanks for asking. I thought it was a really cool game with a great foundation and a lot of potential but i just don't want to play it when it's rather unfinished i want to wait for all the features to be ready max says had a few too many l's tonight as evidenced by my sloppy typing in my super i didn't even notice your sloppy typing well now i see it right now <laughs> we got the nicer with the r at the end the tavern the tavern earns finest l that wasn't too bad, Max. Friend me on Steam. Did you already send me a friend request? I mean, my name is Wolfheart FPS. You guys can shoot me a friend request if you want. Um, I'll check to see what pending requests that I have tonight. Risky Mage. Catch you later. I don't play Dark Arisen and Ultra Wide. I can't help you with that, my man. I have no idea. Never played Ultra Wide in my entire life. Good night, Twitch chat. Yeah, Anonymous. Um, and yeah, and also, folks, I'll share this in the chat right now. I'm not sure if you guys, all of you guys watched the videos or not, but I dropped a fairly in-depth video today going over all the DD2 vocations. So I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to share it in chat right now. I'll share it in the Twitch chat too. So if you guys want to uh, get some more information on the upcoming DD2 vocations and maybe make your choice right now for your character and your main pawn, make sure to click that link. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll share it in the Twitch chat too. That's why I'm so tired, because I thought I was almost done with that video, and then I ended up working on it for another eight hours today. I had to get up early because I was trying to get it out by a certain time, and then I ended up releasing it five hours later than I expected. It was a fun day, though. I can't complain. Looks like that video is doing well. Thank God. Such a relief when a video actually does well. <laughs> YouTube is a funny, it's a funny, funny job. Because you can do a lot of work for something, virtually get nothing in return. But then you can also do a little work and get a shit ton in return. 
You just never know when you release a video. The longer that you do it, the more experienced you become and you give yourself better odds of having successful videos and you kind of know the trends and stuff like that, but you still truly never know how a video is going to do. There's some videos where I've spent 30 plus hours on a single video and have made like 15 to $20 off of those videos. But then I also have like the Baldur's Gate Let's Play series where episode one's almost got 2 million views and it wasn't that hard to create a Let's Play episode. So that one obviously was way above and beyond. But it looks like the DD2 class video is doing good. So that makes me happy.